What's up? How are you guys this weekend? I feel like United Nations over here. I got my backwards hat on. I got a gold chain on. We got the Korean eyes. Kind of a mix, huh? Kind of a mix. Definitely out there. I was so excited. I saw this girl. I was like, yes, beat me up, please. And then I played the video and... I don't understand German. Most of you guys probably don't understand German and there's no subtitles. So that really, you know, what's the saying? You know, threw a, a wrench in the cogs, put a nail in the coffin, uh, a needle in my side. I don't know. A bunch of sayings for it, but I was very, very disappointed that we would not get to watch this. Uh, although it's weird because it's the title's in English, but she's speaking German. So maybe, maybe I missed something. Maybe... Maybe they lobotomized me when I had my eye surgery and she's actually speaking English. But uh, for now, we found a suitable alternative. <laughs> Another uh, blonde foreign girl. So close enough, right? Close enough. What I eat in a day to get back in shape, Romy Strid, uh, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, like she's a Victoria's Secret model. Like she was never out of shape and it's kind of, uh, out of touch with reality when you title videos like that, but yeah, so uh, let's see if we get some tips on how to get excellent scolular development. Okay, guys, welcome to a new What I Eat in a Day. I wanted to give a little disclaimer on this video because I've called this video What I Eat in a Day to get back in shape. Which shape is obviously different for everyone and which shape I meant the shape where I feel best. It took me a little while to get back in the shape where I feel the best and feel energized because those sleepless nights are rough and let me tell you, you want comfort food when you like sleep so little. Yeah, it's weird to me how models have these like super unhealthy lifestyles where they have to travel a lot, they starve themselves you know, to try to stay in shape. And they're usually heavily involved in nightlife. So they're drinking and doing drugs and partying, which is why, you know, most of these models are washed up before they're 25. You know, most of them have a very, very short career. And, and then when they're older in their thirties and forties, they usually don't look that good because they never took care of themselves. So yeah, I'm trying to balance it out with those days with healthy days. Yeah, that, that's how far genetics gets you, you know, and this is an example of a day where I try to eat healthy, but this is not what I eat every day, obviously. So let's get this video started. And as you they always say that, oh, this is not what I eat. Then why are you filming uh, what I eat in a day? Why are you filming a what I eat in a day if it's not what you typically do? You guys know I love to start my day with a coffee. And since it's summer, we're doing iced coffee right now. Lawrence ordered this very pretty glass. And I already put some black coffee in there with ice cubes. And I'm adding oat milk. Yo, you know, I actually uh, bought my guys a coffee machine at work because uh, they asked me for one and then they were having issues with it. So I bought a really expensive one that's coming this week. And I figured like productivity wise, it's it's not a bad investment if they have good coffee. You know, it seems like one of the, the most productive things you can invest in your workers. But but in regards to this, we've never really seen someone make a uh, really high quality coffee you know, using glass bottle mineral water, uh, grinding organic coffee beans yourself, you know, having a a reasonably high-tech machine using high-quality organic dairy. Or, I mean, out of all the plant milks, oat milk might be one of the least worst. Really depends on how fortified it is because a lot of them really do vary uh, from a chemical and preservative and synthetic vitamin perspective. Some of these plant milks are relatively harmless. harmless. Some of them are uh, pretty bad. Okay, so for breakfast, I, I, dude, if if I ever marry a girl, it's gonna have to be someone like this. Where, and not to be mean or rude, but you know how like when a girl looks at you and it's just the way her face is, maybe like her eyes are a little wide set, she looks dumb. First, I was thinking to make chia pudding. Like she could be the smartest girl in the world, but just looking at her face, like I don't feel like she's smart, you know. So it makes me feel better. And I already made it because am I canceled yet? In the fridge overnight. Hold on, let's see the ingredients. This is like a, kind of like a normie, what people think is healthy. 
you know, like, oh, vegan, vegetarian, almond milk, chia seeds. It's like conventional nonsense wisdom that's wrong. And, and there's really nothing beneficial for your body in this because you're not getting calories, you know, to give your body energy and you're not getting any sort of animal nutrition. You know, chia seeds, almond milk, vanilla drops. It's, it's just all low calorie fruits and veggies and seeds. It's going to turn out looking like this. Let's make one together now. So what I do is I take a mason jar and I add three tablespoons of chia. One. Two. Only works in a mason jar. Three. Now we're adding 200 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. You can also do oat milk or coconut milk, whatever you like. And this you add to the chia. The best case scenario with these types of meals is, hey, maybe you go organic and you're not poisoning yourself that much. But most of the time, you know, that's not organic. You know, we're going to bother to read the label. No, but. At least our nails look really nice. You put the lid on it. I'm using this lid, but. And then you can put it in the fridge and leave it there overnight. Now it's very unsweetened. And what I sometimes do is I add some um, stevia vanilla drops, or you can put a scoop of your favorite uh, protein if you want, want it to be more. You know, these models starve themselves, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to eat a very large amount of food consistently if they just figured out what the sweet spot was, you know? This one I already made last night, and sometimes I even make four or five, so I have them in the fridge for the whole week and just grab them when I don't have time to prepare. What I like to add is like some goji berries. You just put them in there, some almonds, and some blueberries, and these are frozen because I've heard frozen blueberries are healthier than regular berries. So we're sounds, like, uh, sounds like big blueberry isn't on it, huh? using frozen blueberries yeah you can't can't talk crap about big blueberry bro you're gonna wake up one day and and, and your whole body's gonna be stained purple your whole house is gonna be stained purple you're never gonna be able to clean it so here we are we're making a post-workout shake and I love to do my workout in the morning, so I'll have my breakfast before I work out, and then I'll have a post-workout. <laughs> I mean, this is like, if you're, if you're trying to starve yourself, maybe it's not that bad of a diet. But so far, she, she hasn't had anything reasonable. I, again, what I said earlier, and, and you guys see this in all my day of eatings, every food I eat has a purpose. I mean, we made a Philly cheesesteak yesterday, but <laughs> bread is carbs energy, and cheese and meat is caloric nutrition so but but if you're eating foods that don't fall into one of those two categories energy or nutrition then maybe it could be for enjoyment but in this case i'm sure none of this tastes good either uh, i i guess to be fair we'll see what type of protein this is but a banana at least has some calories in it smoothie which is very very easy i have my favorite chocolate protein from new Sis. Uh, we can only assume it's probably some nonsense plant-based protein. If it's whey protein, then at least we're getting some nutrition. I'll add a banana and some frozen blueberries again. And then I'll add water and I'll shake it up. Okay. Sometimes it's nice to add some ice cubes in there because it makes it a little thicker, more like a smoothie bowl. You can also do it with milk if you like. I like. like when you see the kitchen and like how she sets the video up, like these people obviously just eat takeout every time. They're, they're probably out all day. They get a coffee at a coffee shop. They get lunch somewhere. I, I highly doubt, I mean, who, who, you know, someone who cooks, someone who has food does not have a kitchen that looks like this. With water. Here we go. And voila. This is smoothie. 
Hey, at least she looks cute drinking it. <laughs> We're not even at lunch yet? Right, it's time for lunch, oh, God. and I'm making breakfast burritos. We got some avocado here, spring onion. This girl's all over the place. This is where we should have started. Breakfast burrito. Reasonable breakfast. Minced feta, chili flakes, basil, tomato, and we're all gonna mix. Okay, so we, we have a whole grain wrap. There might be some calories in there, but. Mix it up to make a nice guacamole. Oh, there's eggs too. And then I'm gonna what a surprise. Some eggs, put them on top, add some more feta, and that's it. So it's pretty easy and super fast. It's almost like she was trying to suppress her appetite all day. And now she has to give in for some calories in lunch. Okay, we're gonna scramble some eggs. Two. Okay, so here we. Okay, okay. Let's let's be honest. Does 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 she do that every day? Does she use that pan to cook those eggs every day? Let's be honest. I feel like someone who legitimately makes this meal would have addressed the egg sticking to the pan and would not like. I, you, I think you guys get my point. We have a whole wheat wrap, um, and you can heat it up or you can eat it cold. I love it cold. And we're gonna add the guacamole. Bro, what is she like half of a taller than me? She needs four of those. Not one tiny breakfast burrito. Some feta. Yeah, she needs like three of those. Pepper and salt. And here we go. You roll it up and it's ready to eat. <laughs> Very model esque. We're gonna fruit the onion. I think it's called fruit in English as well. Oh, uh, this is so, this is kind of boring, honestly. Like, <laughs> with some olive oil. spinach now and I always add a lot because spinach gets very small when you heat it up. Now it's time. Yeah, it seems like a lot of what she's doing is uh, and I'll explain what I said earlier with like conventional wisdom like normie dieting stuff. It's like what the average person thinks is healthy. What we've been told for like 30 years, oh, fat is bad for you. Whole grains, vegetables, fruits, that's what's good. To add the ricotta cheese, which is gonna be the base of the sauce. Okay, so the ricotta is melting. Now we're adding the tomatoes. This is gonna be like pepper. the nastiest tasting the pasta ever. Whole grain noodles and that much spinach. Okay, the pasta is ready, so we're gonna add it in here. And put the sauce through it. Okay, I'm gonna. The irony of following these types of diets is if she just took like an organic artisanal pasta made from Durham wheat semolina, Durham wheat semolina, that tastes amazing, tastes way better, like actual pasta and took the spinach out, she'd have something that was healthier and actually tastes good. Wrap the salmon. It's very nice. Yeah, of course you're gonna have to eat a whole pot of pasta and half of a salmon after not eating all day. Okay, here is the pasta, we're adding the salmon on top, salmon, and then the finishing touch, some pine nuts, and <laughs> of <Jenna. laughs> All right. Hold on, she put some, served. did she I put cheese on it? Bro, what, bro, this did, this salmon with pasta and pine nuts and, I don't, this is kind of funky, I don't know. 
At least she looks pretty. This video, it was very easy, convenient and quick what I eat in a day. Let me know if you tried anything out and I hope to see you guys very soon. Doesn't sound easy, convenient or quick. I, I feel like this was all staged and not what she really eats, you know? All right, I don't feel like reading fake comments today, but uh, I mean, nothing exciting. It makes you wonder if these people are just eating uh, steak tartare every meal off camera. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, let me know if you have any actual exciting day of eatings. And I feel like we should have just watched that German girl and tried to decipher what the hell she was saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys can drop a like on the video, leave me a comment. I guess if you haven't subscribed by now, you're never going to subscribe. And uh, you guys can go to franktashtapano.com to check out all of my interesting businesses where I'm doing crazy new stuff every week. And uh, we'll, we'll, do the, we'll do the vlog tomorrow, guys, if you guys want an update on that and see if I'm, uh, I'm still Korean. Thank you.